Hi, this is Amanda from Writing Research and Technology. Um, for this little video, I'm going to be talking about a video we had to watch, um, the Remix Manifesto. Um, I thought it was uh, it was very interesting to watch it, and I actually really enjoyed it. Um, there was a lot of stuff in there that I really didn't know about that much. I knew a lot about copyright because I remember a lot of stuff that happened with Napster and other downloading pro music downloading programs. Um, and I remember being in the news and stuff a long time ago, but I didn't know to the extent that copyright laws, um, like I didn't know the ex to the extent that they tried to control everything. Um, I was really, really surprised about everything with Walt Disney and the whole Mickey Mouse thing. I had no idea about that, and I was so shocked about that. Um, more so with music, though. I I heard during that whole Napster thing that people who were downloading music it's, it's itself and sharing the files were actually um, getting in trouble for it, but I didn't know there were actual lawsuits over it. Um, I know that I've downloaded music on various programs um, currently I use iTunes and I actually do pay for it, but I mean, around the time of Napster, I feel like everybody was sharing music and sharing files. And I did not know that me personally, that for me doing that, I could actually get sued. Um, I knew it was like a threat, but I can't believe that happened to the extent that it did. It's just really funny because it makes you think like, where are people's priorities? I mean, I guess the law doesn't really have priorities, but it's there's so many worse, so much worse in the world, and so many worse things you could do than downloading music that you could have paid a dollar ninety nine for anyway. That I think it's absolutely ridiculous that there's actually you're we're actually tying up the justice system with this. It's ridiculous. Um, with Creative Commons, I think that has helped a lot and I'm glad there's some artists out there like they mentioned Radiohead I'm glad there's artists like that who are willing to put their stuff out there and have complete control over it because these corporations they just don't care it's just everything's a business there's nothing there's no I just feel like it's immoral almost how can you sue some person for downloading 25 songs and not paying how can you see them thousands and thousands of dollars? That's absolutely ridiculous, and I can't wrap my head around it. Um, but overall, I thought that documentary was really, really good, and I felt that it needed to be done because people like me didn't know to the extent that these copyright laws were messing up people's lives, basically. Um, also, I, I think it's really important that music should be shared and should these copyright laws shouldn't stop people from being creative if you're if we're gonna go by that I know one of the major points was it was even shown in the beginning was everything that's out there came from something before the past is like rewriting itself pretty much and even like the happy birthday uh tune like came from somewhere before and it's ridiculous that somebody actually owns the rights to that and my thing is, like, what's the point of making music and, you know, putting your stuff out there if you have to, like, tiptoe around it? You can't technically even sing it in public, let alone, you know, remix it into something else that's really good. Um, I had heard of Girl Talk before, but I didn't really know the type of music he did. Um, I'm actually interested to check him out now, so I'm probably going to do that after I load this video. I think his stuff seems really cool. And I think that, well, yes, some copyrights are important. I understand the basic thing, the basic rules behind it and the basic idea behind it. I, I mean, <laughs> everything's repeated, so I think everybody should be creative, and it's going to make our world a more interesting place if we continue to repeat this history and make it into something fresh and something new. So that's all. Um, like I said, I really agreed with everything that was on there, and I thought he like it, the whole documentary made a lot of good points. So that's it. Thanks.